my They're God. doing this on purpose. The run back. Here we go. JDCR sitting in the winner's side of Grand Finals versus Knee in the loser's side. I, I said On it the precipice of fate. I said, <laughs> I said it before against HK Jr. Against other oh, legacy boy. characters. He seems more inclined to play this dragon off. Mm. Okay, let's get into it. And you know, uh, JDCR used to have the upper hand in these international tournaments versus Nii when in the older games in Tekken Tag 2 yeah. and maybe early in Tekken 7 as well. But then, you know, Nii started to take off with it, right? Uh, in the head-to-head. -head. So let's see what happens now. Ooh, gets, still gets the clean wall splat even though it's so close. Has the wall pressure, but that fighting back with the down two. Yeah. Has the red dress on. Oh, gonna spend that red dress? No, just opts to go from the normal run into. Yeah. Ooh, stuffs out the down four four and ends it with his own down two. Yeah, it's so good from Nia as well when he got when he got the jab on hit. A jab, a single jab on hit is so plus that he knew that once it hit, he had a nice free mix up and went for the low. So yeah, good, good awareness from him. Nice awareness there with the duck punish on the jabs. Mm. Man, I feel like, like it's been what four years since that rev major thing. I feel like the game has changed so much. There's so many new system mechanics. These yeah. characters have changed so much. Yeah. Dragging off that's crazy wall carry for no reason. A lot of experience <laughs> in between them as well. Like. Yes. Oh, wow, just, hang on a second. Hang on a swing. second. Oh, yes, this big, big hang on for a second. If this hits the wall, he gets the right combo. Dead. Goes to the shoulder. Perfect Dead. seven of the golden Dead. letters. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, Spag, you're getting pretty nice with the gong hits, bro. <laughs> getting a technique down, man. <laughs> the three fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so if somebody gets three letters in this, it just goes to the reset. If set, he right? was to get one, then yes. yes. Yeah, yes. we've got two reset. So that's step four. But that has to be clean hit. In order for that to launch, you have to be in close. Nice! Oh. Mm. There's that wall. Yeah. There's that wall. Oh, I gotta get, get the rest of the combo. Yeah, doesn't get the full conversion off of that. Mm. Down, walking. Nice, neat. Closing out the round. Round four. Wait, he's using a pop up, yeah? That's <laughs> it. <laughs> these lows adding up already. Yeah. I feel like it's, it's been like forever since I've seen these guys play. <laughs> What an honor it is to watch these guys go at it, man. High, highest level tech possible, man. JDCR and Nii. And Nii putting on a bit of a clinic right now in that close range poking department. Yeah. Dude, Dragon on down 4-4 four, four is crazy good, dude. Yeah. It's so good. It is linear, but as long as you're not predictable with it, then yeah. it's okay. It's also 12 frames, I believe, so mm -hmm. another great option to stuff out stuff. Yeah. But... These guys are making every movement, every second, every button they press count so much. Yeah, look, look at the time. Look at the light. Yeah, JD still been playing extra defensive in these last few sets, and he hasn't got much time left. Okay, that throw is broken, puts JDCR back to the wall. But Nee still has a very small life lead, letting it grow. Oh no! Nice step. Oh, there's not long left, and not much you can do apart from Rage Up. Take it all. I love that. The starting with the downfall, just to probably mitigate that perfect. I don't yeah. want to deal with the golden letters. Yeah, you can you know, oftentimes forget about it until it's too late, right? Yeah. Like, okay, oh damn, he must be using a perfect move. And it only happens when it's possible, when the guy's in the combo, like. So it's good they get that little hit. He's using that jab pressure once again. Yeah, when it comes to this, the blow, blow to blow Tekken, right? I mean, knees is coming out on top. Yeah, so that's small Tekken. Okay, nice block, and he's gonna get the full punch there on the down two. You just see that knees just two steps ahead. Yeah. JDCR, this is a, definitely a game of chess. Yeah. Okay, just using those single jabs just to see. Okay, we're gonna get a punish on the down four two. And if you want to talk about it a little bit, you know, Dragunov in 2017 was a lot stronger than he was now. Or you could say that he was. Uh, and the balance of all the, the cast was a stronger character comparatively. Bang, yeah. a lot stronger than he was. Yeah, yeah. I think Dragonov is more or less similar. Yeah. It's just the cast itself has changed. The game and the cast around him has changed so much. Exactly, yeah. So Bang, a lot stronger than he was in 2017. But because, you know, you know, they, they obviously they nerfed, they nerfed down one and then they kind of pseudo buffed it back. Yeah. So. Okay, wait a minute. They're down 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, it's a very good keep-up move. Yeah, you're saying it's putting in work earlier on. See if you like that move. It's really good, man. Yeah. Michael Sasa from JDCR, probably trying to bait something out. Gonna get the punish on that. No, oh, no. I think that's, that was, is that minus 10? I thought it was minus 10. I believe so. Yeah. Just miscalculating his frames there. Yeah, 4-1 jails though, so... Yeah, yeah. 4-1 is 12, right? 12. Yeah, 12. Yeah. Okay, good. Nice. Down, Down two. two. 
down two steps, a very good purpose. It gets that, it gets the high crush, but also really good tracking to both sides. Almost like a pseudo homing move. Yeah, it's very, very hard to step. Yeah. Great pokes. Great yeah. pokes. That's the usage of that down four four again. Uh -huh. Down two, poking him down, running two, wants to turn up the heat. punch parry. He tried to sub back Okay, blue stuff spin. Oh, wow, my spin. god, dude. Oh. JDC, oh! Challenging in the neutral. I saw Steve, I saw you see when they use that jab as keeper, you were like, dude, look at the timing. Like, like, <laughs> just a single a simple jab sometimes can be so ridiculous. Legit jab, reset neutral. Yeah. Jab, did you do some headbutt? Yeah. Nice. nice! That's gonna be a full punch. Using that back Kempo to evade the down two. And he's not abusing it as well, that's the thing, right? So, you know, JDSL wasn't ready for that time. Looks like he could have got a little float right there, just wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. Down to the shoe slapper. Okay, using that jab again just to keep JDCR in check. Down two. Lovely challenge there. Have yeah. a brave and lovely challenge there with the Wild Sun in one two. Definitely, definitely, man. So here we go. Final round. Very important round. Is Nika up 2 0. Breaks Great. the throw. Yep. Get stepped round. Can you just get shoulder after one two in the back? Like yes, yes you can. Yes. But if you don't, if you don't get around properly, then you get one two, one two shoulder. So I think you try to go for maybe the double, but the greed. A little bit greedy. Yeah. Okay, oh, here we go. Almost four. Okay, counter hit. Big counter hit. I love that patience there. Yeah, JDC are looking for something to punish Nido. He doesn't give you much. He doesn't give you much. Rage available now. How is he going to spin this rage? Jabs. Yeah, the oh, jab. The jab. The on reset point there. Yeah, he's been, he's been trying to go for these like jab or just like kind of like these down forward twos to try to catch knee tracking, uh, crouching, but none of them have worked so far. Yeah. He's also been really hesitant. Like he's all, he's, JCR has done a lot of just single down two. He hasn't tried to like rinse it over and over. And, and you'll notice that he's stepping right a lot. You know that's the way you want to go against against Dragonov, right? Yep. And sometimes if you do the side step right and duck, then it covers a lot of options like the down four one, down two. So the movement is causing JDCR some issues again. As you see, he goes for it. And me when he gets this life, he's perfectly fine to just sit on it, make every second count. Yep. But gets this low parry, not gonna kill, but waste even more time on the clock. Nice. Try to finish him off. Lock. Yeah. Great punish. All Stop. Of Get up. JDCR does not have time on his side yeah, though. Yeah, doesn't. This is gonna be difficult, especially because Dragon doesn't have really much heavy hitting moves like a hell sweep or something yeah. to, to break the legs. But yeah, that's another round to knee. He's looking so comfortable. Oh, oh, steps wow. around the upward. Completely, completely step. A Dragon North player died inside somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> They're making a post about it, right? Shout out yeah. to him, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that side step right, man, causes Dragon North a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. They gave him a new homing move, but it's not really got the best utility. It's quite slow, I think. He's got that back four as well. I mean, that back three back as well, three, but that's high. But it's a high. So side step right and duck will, will kind of beat that, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, he's doing well, though. Jenny started poking down. Got the life lead. Yeah, he's in that single jab. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Wait, fish hook into Sabaki? Okay. I've definitely had people refer to Feng Wei as a DLC character in legacy character form. So <laughs> it's like base roster, but he was DLC on the inside. And just like that, knee moves on to reset point. JDC hasn't really been able to get anything started. And if he doesn't do something now, then knee looking like he's going to take the entire tournament. The Feng causing issues. If there's ever a time you needed to cash out these golden letters, it's right now, JDCR. Oh. But another counter hit neutral yeah. hop kick. It's looking like it's going to be a reset, ladies and lads. What can JDCR do here? Is it going to be the three zip? Headbutt. It's going to be a reset with a perfect as well. Oh my god, I think it might be. Yes, it ridiculous. is. Ridiculous. The commentary with the boys has been so much fun. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. Thank you guys and everybody involved for putting this on. This has been amazing. It's been absolutely incredible, man. We've winded it down to just these two guys. One set remaining. Here we go. Fight. New set, the final set of the night. Yeah. Who will back be one? Okay. Who's gonna be our Golden Letters 2 champion? Okay, Stop! Back four. Down right. back two. You were no. talking about the back four earlier on, Steve, weren't Down you? four, four. Oh, no punish on the back one. No punish, that's minus 10. Could have got something. Trying to keep the wall positioning. Mm -hmm. See, and this is where you can start using like those down four ones. You can, you can put them in there because it's gonna make sure that Bang stays back a little bit. Respect that space. Yeah. Headbutt plus frames. And again. 
but now JDCR. Oh, nice. Oh. Block, big yeah. block, the late hop Another kick. thing that JDCR has with this armor wow. thing that Heihachi or Dragon, you got the hop kick. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Definitely didn't have to go for that punish, but he did. He's like, let's just send a statement. I have got the delay hop kick punish on, on Fleek right now. And on top of that, the way he's been using down for two today that we saw earlier with the Armor King from JDCR has been really, really good. For sure. Oh, tempo yeah, to get right away it. from the back four. We got to start seeing the dashes now. 4 4 2, while, while rising 2, also another good one, especially with the new pushback. Yep. And now Nee waking up a little bit, man. You know, it's going to take a little bit of adjustment for Nee, you know, to go up against his Armor King, but he's looking very good in this round. In Ooh, down back three. Wow. Wow. Didn't really expect that one to come oh. out. Boom. Oh. Four, two. Four, four, four again. Down. That's crunchy. Oh. That's going to be a counter. That's oh. Armor King, baby. Where it are you going? Now. That down four, two. Respect my space. What a call out on the up four, two there from JDCR. Two rounds up now. Man, it's scary when Nii's playing aggressive, you know? <laughs> Don't Ooh, even see that. I can. That down forward too, bro. That's oh, what happens. He wants to carry. He steps on an attack. Crunchy low. Mm. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Low parry this time around. See it one too many times. He's gonna push back out to mid-screen. Uh-huh. Okay, he gets the punish on the down forward There you go. I was about to say, Oof. definitely let him get away with it for a bit. Got the stomps. No throws yet out of this armor king. Okay, down yeah. back three. Down back three. You got down four, bro. Don't forget. Down four, four. Excuse me. Just trying to find that counter hit with the back one. 12 for him. Kind of launcher. One way he's going to do it. Down four. Knee gets on the board. Okay, okay. This thing is so scary when you're at that life pool where down four is enough to kill at that point because there's so many things that, that you can do. Sidestep four at mid screen. Hits clean. Yeah. Gonna get the wall. That was great timing. Big Ooh. damage. 50% gone. Okay, now the 4-4 four, four neutral 2's come out. Mm -hmm. He's got to get away from this wall. Oh, so much pressure out of this thing. Yeah, man, this is all oh, crazy stuff. Knee putting on the pressure. Final round, looking for the reverse sweep. Yes, yeah, just like that. Knee winning those two rounds back. He starts with the baby turn to go for the low headbutt, plus frames. Again, just oh, nice. Gonna get A little punish. punish. Yeah, could have got more there. Back one, two got buffed as well. More damage, should have gone for it. Down for big wow. block. Defense is on point. Breaks the chain throw. God damn it. True 50-50 on that one. Yeah. yeah. So good, man. JDCR is smart because he'll go for the quick just one hit multi-throw just to get the side switch. Nice chunk of damage. You get the wall right here. Yeah. He's yeah. going for the extension. There we go. Down. No. Oh, didn't little. go for the string. Yeah. Probably wasn't too sure because of the yes. action. The oh. Wolf's back. Unless like you throw the break, the switch sides though. Switch yeah. inside. Oh, oh big whiff. Not ready. Oh my god, 15 seconds left on the clock. Super close round here. Both characters outside of rage. Oh, Who blocks the headbutt? Blocks again. it again. Oh. Nice. Does it crash chance to go quick enough? Five seconds left. Who's going to take it? I don't know it? who has a life lead as well. Not. Oh my oh, god, the poking dude. from me. We didn't see the rage up from JDCR. That would have got him the round. But now, that's four matches in a row. Yeah, this is. It's, it seems like JDCR started off really clean. It looked like, you know, the Armor King was a good pick. But just like that, Nii just turning it around, getting that reverse sweep three rounds straight here. What does JDCR do? That's it, that, like it's four, round, four it, games straight. It's just so, I feel like the thing about this is, is like Fang has a lot of up-close weapons that you yeah. really have to take in account if you want to play up close like that. And I feel like the cycle of which Armor King... getting up by these lows. Yeah, the yeah. cycle in which Armor King has to go through to, like, you know, make him respect that space is really hard. Yeah, even oh. even in the Dragunov matchup, it feels like JDCR is just having trouble picking up on Nii's low timing. Yeah. yeah. I remember he just didn't want to duck in general, even versus HK Jr. It was the same thing. And Nii's definitely exposing that. But we know Nii to be a defensive player. Here he's just rushing JDCR down, and he has no answers to this aggression. Also down 1-4 as well for the high crush because he keeps using this jab. Yeah. Yeah, like that 1-2. If you use that down 1-4, make him reset the neutral, respect it a little bit. Yeah, this is this feels very different from the knee from Evo, right? When he played Fengwei, where it just felt like a lot of spacing, a lot of jab, a lot of stuff. This knee feels like he, like I said earlier, he wants to fight. Yeah, hundred percent. Ultra aggressive. We have seen him play defensive today as well, but I think versus JDCR, he's saying this is the right way to go. Just play aggressive. It's definitely working out. Not know. a counter hit. That's crazy. I thought that would have been. Jeez. Nah, no, look at this oh buttons and bare buttons, boy. Everything Me. is working. No punish. Against the punish on the down forward, too. Down back 
He really, just really sees that JDC just doesn't know what to do at this particular moment. Yeah, yeah man. If he doesn't, he is going to be our Golden Letters champion. Yes, he needs to answer back. Does not want to go down two round, two games down, sorry. And I'll be five straight as well. That is a big mental damage. Oh, oh my god, dude. Has to make something for the back turn throw. Turn throw. Yep. JDCR does have the rage available. He's stuck in the mud. He no, could no, not yeah, that's move. Like, that like, HK Jr. was doing. He was calling out some of these damn back threes. Let's see what JDCR can do with the Heihachi. I love this aggressive start here from JDCR. Just like HK Jr. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe the older player took some inspiration from the younger. Yeah. There you go again. This is those lows adding up down to Damak 3. Now, if you told me I was going to see two different Heihachi players in a, this top eight, I would have not have believed you. Top but three. I would have been looking forward for it. Could have got something a little bit bigger there, but whilst I'm in football, at least it's something. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah! Just a wall <laughs> of electric right there. Clean wall splat, uh, uh, dead. Uh, yeah. That is going to be dead. Huge damage there. Great conversion from JDCR down, but not out just yet. That's it. Uh oh. It's got to be the reverse. Yo, look at that wave dash, though. We was talking about Ooh, HK Jr., but bro, even JDCR nice with him. Mm. <laughs> Headbutt down four. Down two. I like the usage of those down four twos as well. Yes. If it, especially if it was intentional, right? Yeah, yeah. A machine player that really knows how to use that down four two on purpose is very annoying to fight because yeah. then you have a counter hit 15 frame launcher on you. Yeah. And it's like, it's literally like, I feel like it has that whole jack effect with the down four too, right? It, it, it feels it's that kind of same void. Mm. Yeah, this is similar to the trouble that HK Jr. was having in the run back, you know? Once Knee has a certain level of a life lead on you, it's like, how are you gonna, how are you gonna narrow it down? Yeah. Without taking a huge risk. Just one two, bro. One two back four. So good. One two down second, back three. The second bro. hit of that down two jab is it reaches so far. Yeah. Okay, nice duck on the jabs. Yeah. Nice. Okay, nice Small. pass that punish. He gets some. Could have got the electric though, JDCR. Still trying to get his bearings here. One match oh. would be good for him, but not if that happens while standing three from knee. No, not quite a clean wall splat. Oh no! Oh. Gonna get punished for that. That's very unfortunate. The wall just messing him up. And just like that, knee moves on to Golden Letters Point here versus JDCR. Messing up the electric. Nina backing off. He, he can see the light at the end of the tunnel. He can see it. She's not whilst standing one. Just Look at that range down back three, standing two jab. The series of pokes the that he employs. The lows. Everything hits. Okay, great Four block two. on the hop kick. Nice that, block. That's the first hell sweep he did. I and think. that is and gonna be it. I think yes, DRX knee is gonna be your Red Bull Golden Letters champion. Sometimes it be like that. It